While the passage of time is obviously predictable, biological aging is another matter entirely. That is according to a new study from Stanford Medicine. Joining me now is Dr. Michael Snyder, professor of genetics at Stanford Medicine. Thanks for being with us today. Tell us about some of your findings. Sure. What we've done is very deep profiling on people, meaning we'll study hundreds of thousands of molecules in people over time. And what we've discovered is that instead of people just gradually aging, there are bursts when there are big changes occurring. One is in the 40s and the other, in the, other is in the 60s. Now, I think the one in the 60s we expected. We know people's age risk goes or disease risk goes up, their immune system declines. That's why they get vaccinated. Uh, but the one in the 40s was not necessarily expected. I think okay, was, so for somebody who's in my 40s now, what are we talking about? Because that sounds concerning. Yeah, well, it, uh, you know, <laughs> what can I say? I guess your muscle mass changes, clearly your muscle components we discover, your skin. Uh, and, and that was not necessarily expected. We expected that in the 60s, and we did see that. But um, we did see it in the 40s as well. We saw changes in lipids. These are things that make up your fat. Like your and your bad cholesterol, for example, those also shift in your 40s. So, yeah, there are some pretty dramatic changes that occur. Now, is there anything that people can do to stop this or slow this down or at least make it a little more consistent? Yeah, absolutely. So, obviously, exercise has got to be pretty important. And we think strength training in particular is important for keeping your muscle mass up. And so, we don't know for sure why there are all these shifts in their 40s. My guess is it's due to bad habits of people in their 30s. And as they enter their 40s, they typically don't get enough exercise and they don't eat so well either. So, I think the combination is probably not so good. But I think the nice thing is you can keep an eye out for these things. Uh, for example, if your lipids are going off, you could take statins, which are tend to be pretty safe as, as a good example. And I think that would help keep your bad cholesterol down uh, and, and probably keep your health healthier as you hit your 60s. Clearly, there are things you do. Once again, strength training, we think, is very, very important because something called sarcopenia, muscle mass loss, occurs as people hit their 60s. And you'd really like to avoid that because when people become immobile, they typically, their health declines really quite dramatically. So you yeah. definitely want to keep your muscle mass up. You want to watch your carbs. We discover your kidney function goes off. And so I would argue drink lots of water. Okay, all good advice. We've heard it before, but it is interesting, right? Some of that hard living in your 30s, uh, catching up with you eventually. Is there any difference between men and women in this case? Yeah, what we were looking at were more general differences. Obviously, as women hit menopause, there are shifts. That's a little bit later, typically, at least in the group we study, probably in the early 50s or late 40s. Uh, so what we're seeing are more general changes that are affecting both men and women. So I think both sexes need to keep up on this or, uh, you know, in order to keep their health in good shape. All right, Dr. Michael Snyder, thank you for that. Good stuff to keep in mind. We appreciate it. Hi, thanks so much for watching. To view more content like this, we've selected some videos that we think you'll enjoy. And don't forget to like or click that button here on the bottom left of your screen to subscribe.